I'm Eric's uncle from Oakdale, California. I'm here tonight to introduce my hero, a true champion of all champions. Eric had a winning attitude, whether it be on a champion road horse or a champion race car. One of the things that Eric loved to say, you could never be sad while eating a bowl of ice cream. That puts a grin on your face just as wide as the chocolate running down your chin. Eric loved his family, his friends, and his race fans, especially the small fans. He loved signing autographs, taking pictures with them, and doing whatever it took to make them feel special. One to put the grin on their face just like the one he was wearing. He had three Mustangs in his life. The first one, he was a graduate of Oakdale High School, which our mascot is the Oakdale Mustang. He went on to ride some of the finest Mustang rope horses across all the way across the United States and rope with some of the finest champions in the world. Then he went on to drive a Ford Mustang to some of the finest championships a man could ever ask for. One time, I asked Eric, I said, Eric, what's the difference between riding one of them Mustangs and driving one? He said, well, he said, Uncle Steve, it's what they run on. I said, well, what do they run on? He said, one runs on alfalfa, and the other one, it runs on nitromethane. I said, is that right? He said, yeah. He said, Uncle Steve, about halfway down that track, he said, they'll both get to bucking so hard. He said, you don't know whether you can hang on to them or not. But he'd go across that finish line, and that's what made him a true champion. You know, Eric Mandelman was a man of, uh, he was very talented, very athletic. Uh, I remember he came to me years ago, and he was still in high school, I think a freshman in high school. And he kind of wanted to learn how to rope. So, uh, of course, I, any young kid that's, that really wants to do something, you know, he, they come over here. And so I caught him, taught him how to ride a horse, swing a rope, and he just never wanted to quit. He was one of those guys that just wanted to do better and better and better. And the more we roped, the more he came over, the better he got. And he had, he had a chance to really do good in the rodeo business. Him and I, you know, roped at some ropings, you know, good ropings that, uh, uh, that we had to be pretty tough at to win. And, uh, you know, he excelled. He did good. Uh, he roped good and he had a lot of confidence, and, you know, and that's what it took. And he had a mind that, you know, when it, when it, I always told him that, if you, you know, you make a mistake, it's okay. Just don't make the same mistake twice. And he always remembered that. And uh, you know, I remember the time since I taught him how to rope and all this, we went to the mountains one time and the, the girls wanted to go uh, up to Dodge. Uh, I think it was, uh, uh, I think it was, might have been uh, Dodge Ridge, one of those snow places. Anyway, I stayed in the cabin. I was kind of the cook and they went skiing every day. And finally, Eric came back early and he wanted to teach me how to ski, you know, and I told him, hey, Snow and skis, that's not me. You know, I'd rather ride a horse or rope or play pool or whatever. But he says, oh, come on, come on, come on out here. So, so he had me out there with the damn skis on my feet and put me right there in front of the house down the driveway. And I'll be damn, it's kind of like roller skating for me. You know, they slipped over my feet and I ate snow and I fell down. But you know, he's a trying to get me to do it. Just like I, you know, taught him how to rope and finally, we was there for an hour and I says, I hell with it, let's go get a drink and hell with this skiing. But he was the type of guy, you know, that uh, once he started something, you know, he wanted to finish it. It's really no surprise to me that Eric has so many fans. After all, the guy was funny. He enjoyed a good joke and he enjoyed playing pranks on people. Anything to make you laugh. Inside the Cowboy Museum, we continue to share Eric's memory with his friends and fans that come in, his spirit is still alive and well inside these walls. It gives me great pleasure to know that Eric's memory continues to be celebrated. Eric was a guy that always said, I'll never give up, and Eric never did give up. And I'm sure he's up there with that big grin of his. He had a grin as big as and wide as the Mississippi River. Eric was a hero to a lot of people. I know that Eric would be proud to know tonight that the money raised here would be distributed 
through Speedway Children's Charities. And I want to thank you tonight for coming and dropping your money on this table and make Eric look down on us with that big grin. And he's probably up there eating that bowl of ice cream that he was always telling you about. Thank you. <laughs>